interesting just to note we have a former Falcons captain here today and that's a, a great friend of ours and a, a man who captained the Falcon many many years ago Martin Ashby he's a very great favorite here in the West Country it's nice to see him down the West Country again final again 80 cc machines a lot of Kawasaki's in there those are the green ones and 11 to 13 year old little riders Simon Stevens still on the inside, 32, 25 is John Tarr, they're away this time, good start for uh, Simon Stevens, but John Tarr as well, number 25, going very wide indeed, and uh, Tarr goes into that third bend in third place, but Simon Stevens, number 32, leads as they start the second lap, John Tarr, 25, is third, and uh, 28, Colin Roberts from Morval is second. Yvonne Stevens leads. Colin Roberts is second. John Tarr is third for Exeter. Yes, he's got all the time in the world. He just wants to take it easy now, do nothing silly, and the race is his. Nice style and unhurried. Look at that, all the time in the world. He needs to look round to see where the opposition is. Well, John Tarr is going to have to really work hard to get up from third place. As uh, Laurie said at the start, he didn't have a very good position, almost on the inside. Simon Stevens had the best line. And looks over his shoulder again. Very confident. Oh, he's got it in the bag. And there he goes. Simon Stevens wins from Gobbles. And he's the intermediate winner. Number 32, Simon Stevens from Gobbles in corner. Well, there's no doubt about it. Once you get to that first corner with this track, it's cutting up now, quite understandably. But once you're on that first bend by yourself, then the race is yours. But uh, young Seaman Stevens there from Dobwald showed how it was done. Really first-class performance, and the race was all his from the beginning.